thankful to the Lord that um, we have just a couple of days and it will be Christmas. And today I want to share my last message here for the Christmas period with you. Um, in the first message, we talk about the arrival of the king. In the second message, we began to look at the issue of um, uh, new beginnings. And then we talked about dreams. Today, I want to talk to you about hope. Hope. It is important. Somebody puts it this way. The hope is a powerful force. It can keep us going when everything is falling apart. We're living in a world where many things seem to be falling apart. And I believe that our expectation, our hope, will get us through these tough moments. In the book of Isaiah chapter 9, verse 2 to 6, it shows us that Christmas is about hope because Jesus brought hope to all mankind. Isaiah chapter 9, let's look at verse 2 and ver to verse 6. So the people who walk in darkness will see a great light, a light that will shine on all who live in the land where death cast its shadow. Yes, indeed, we live in a land where death has cast its shadow on, on many people, thousands and hundreds of thousands of people. But let's listen to God's word. Verse 3, Isaiah chapter 9. Israel will again be great. And its people rejoice as people rejoice at harvest time. Now, take the name Israel away and say, America will be great. You will be. Your household will be great. And the people in your household will rejoice once again, like in a harvest time. They will shout with joy like warriors dividing the plunder. God will break the chains that bind his people and the whip that scourges them. For a child is born to us, and a son is given to us. His name is Jesus. Never forget, he comes and he brings hope with him. Merry Christmas and a prosperous 2021. God bless you.